Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada with an Avada short. In this video, we're going to look at how to use the get variable in conditional rendering. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Okay, let's begin. So I have an Avada contact form here on the online tutor pre-built and I've added a checkbox field element to it so people can choose which subjects they're interested in. If we look at the form and the submission tab of the form options, we can see the submission type is set to post and the submission method to get, with the form submission redirecting to a thank you page. So when a user submits the form, the thank you page loads and the submission data displays in the URL. Here we are displaying all page content of the thank you page, but by using the get variable in conditional rendering, we could determine exactly what containers to display. Let's look at that. So on the thank you page, I will edit each of these containers that correspond to the subjects in the checkbox field, and on the extras tab I will set some rendering logic. I will choose the get variable as the condition type, with the variable name of subject underscore interest as that's the variable I'm interested in. This is pulled from the field name of the checkbox. Then I will choose equal to, and on this particular container I will set the condition value to art and design. And I'll just do that to the other containers using the same rendering logic, just with condition values of literature and maths. Okay, let's save that. And now when the user submits the form, it redirects to the thank you page, but the rendering logic looks at the URL and sees that the user has selected art and design as their subject interest, and so it renders that container, but not the other ones. Cool. Obviously in this scenario, the form data handling would be up to the user. There are many ways to use the get variable in conditional rendering, but that should get you started. For another example, see the using conditional rendering for Avada search layouts video, linked below. Okay, that's it for this Avada short. If you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.